Hi, I'm Dan Resnicek from Pacific Northwest Urology Specialist here in Bellingham, Washington. And today I'm gonna to be talking about what you can expect when you arrive for your ural lift procedure here in our ambulatory surgery center. The vast majority of patients that come for our ural lift are done under a local anesthetic rather than general anesthesia. This is one of the big advantages of why we do the ural lift versus more invasive procedures. So I'm gonna be focusing on how we prepare for this procedure in a local anesthesia setting. If you are getting general anesthesia for the procedure, uh, please talk to our office about instructions for general anesthesia. Since we're getting this under a local anesthetic, there are no restrictions to eating or drinking prior to coming for the procedure. All patients are prescribed an antibiotic before the procedure, and most patients are prescribed an anti-anxiety medication to help them relax for the procedure. It provides a minimal amount of sedation. If you are prescribed an antibiotic, please follow the instructions from our nursing, but generally it's taken six hours to two hours before the procedure, depending on which antibiotic. So generally taking it first thing in the morning when you wake up. If you're pre prescribed the anti-anxiety medication, generally you're taking this 90 minutes before the procedure to allow it to be fully absorbed into your body. Once you arrive at our office, the nurse will check you in and check you into a gown. We'll go over your medications. We'll make sure that you're not taking any aspirin, Plavix, or blood thinners, which can increase your risk of bleeding. If you were on any of those medications, we should have checked with your primary care provider to ask you to stop taking those about five to seven days before the procedure. If you're still on those medications, please call our office ahead of time to let us know. Once you're checked into a gown, uh, our nurse will then instill lidocaine into your urethra. This will generally sit for about 20 to 30 minutes to allow maximum anesthesia to the urethral area. This lidocaine will not numb everything completely, but will make it much more comfortable for the procedure, and it'll be very similar to be having the flexible cystoscopy before. Although the numbing medication doesn't numb everything completely, it decreases the amount of pain during the procedure. Certain sensations such as pressure are not relieved by lidocaine, which you may experience during the firing of the clips. Overall, the procedure takes about five to 10 minutes in total. Following the procedure, you can expect some blood in your urine for a few days to up to a week. Generally, this bleeding is very mild. In addition, you may notice an increase in your irritative voiding symptoms after the procedure. Symptoms such as burning with urination, frequency of urination, or the sense of urgency that you have to make it to the restroom in a hurry may be something that can last for up to two weeks following the procedure. Concerning symptoms or symptoms that you should call us about are fever over 101 degrees, bleeding with clots, or difficulty with urination following the procedure. If any of these symptoms happen, please call our office or come in for an appointment. In summary, there are no food or drink restrictions at all for the Urolift procedure as long as it's done under a local anesthetic. If it's a general anesthetic, please contact our office for more instructions. Do stop your aspirin, Plavix, or any blood thinners as these can make bleeding more of an issue. Follow the instructions on the label of your antibiotic. Take it before the procedure. And the last note is the anxiety medication we prescribed generally take 90 minutes before the procedure to allow it to be fully absorbed. Following the procedure, it is normal to expect blood in the urine, pain with urination, and frequent urination for a period of up to two weeks. Thanks for watching our video with us today, uh, and we look forward to seeing you here in the near future.